Hi, I'm Lou Guzzi, PGA professional here at beautiful Talamore Country Club. We are inside the teaching center, the fireplace is going, middle of November, and guess what? We are still giving golf instruction. Now, I'd like to share a tip with you. It's something that I do with my students here at the academy, students that come in with a big overswing in their backswing. Now, what I do, and what they want me to do, is to make it shorter. So I take them out and I have them use a wedge. And here's what I do. I ask them to chip a couple of golf balls. And they look at me and they go, well, why am I gonna, I said, just chip the ball, we'll go from there. So I watch their chipping technique. Then I place a golf ball on a low tee. Now, I ask them to make a practice swing. And what I want them to do is make a chip backswing with a full finish. And I want them to rehearse it. Well, the looks I get sometimes, boy oh boy. But I say, trust me, chip backswing, full finish. A couple of practice swings, and then they're ready to hit. I have them go up to the ball. I use a face on camera, and I start recording their swing. I tell them not to force it, just focus on the chip backswing and the full finish. Once I record a swing that I like, we go back into the office, we sit down, and then I show the student a backswing that is actually too short. Now, sometimes that's the first time a student's ever seen that because they're constantly on the other side of the coin working on trying to shorten their backswing from a fuller position. So, it's exciting. They get excited because now I tell them, guess what? You actually have to make your backswing longer, not shorter. Sometimes they've never thought that way before. So please think about that tip with your business. I really believe it's gonna help your students who overswing. And let's keep growing this great game of golf one lesson at a time. Happy holidays.